welcome to this brief presentation about comparing chromatograms within Chrome Perfect. Today we're going to be working exclusively within the analysis program, which is at the heart of our chromatography data system. The first step, of course, is opening the file, which can be achieved by either clicking on the pull down list here or using the quick open buttons on the button bar here. This brings up the open file dialog box and allows you to click OK for the last file that was opened, select from a recent file list on the pull down menu here, or browse to your data directory and select a new file. Initially, we're going to work with a single chromatogram, and in a minute, we'll look at using multiple chromatograms. So here we are, and we have our file on um, the open uh, window here. And the first thing we'd like to look at is some of the features for changing how the chromatogram is displayed. To access this option, you can go Plot and Properties, or select from a quick menu option by right clicking on the chromatogram. And you can see here we have a lot of options for changing how the chromatogram is displayed. So let's select just a few of these. Let's display also the area and click OK. And you notice here the chromatogram changes. Of course, there are a number of different functions. We can change the colors, the plots, the, the uh, fonts, this type of thing. Let's keep it pretty simple just now. In fact, I'm going to turn off um, the area here just to keep it nice and fresh. So the next thing we may want to do within the program is changing the scale. Now there's a number of ways we can do this. We could go to the plot scaling options and manually enter the X and Y axis details. This is not particularly uh, intuitive. The easiest way to do this is actually to draw a box with it around the chromatogram and right mouse click to confirm. And we can zoom in to an unlimited level of expansion. Chrome Perfect supports a number of useful shortcut keys here on the keyboard. Pressing backspace will skip through the previous levels of expansion, whereas pressing the O key on the keyboard will take us to the original expansion. So now let's have a look at how Chrome Perfect deals with multiple files simultaneously. Let's shut this down and go back to the file open dialog box and we're going to browse to the directory. Chrome Perfect fully supports the Windows conventions for selecting multiple files. Holding down the shift key while clicking on two files, we'll select all the files between those two points. Alternatively, selecting random files is done by holding down the control key. So let's select four chromatograms and click open. By default, Chrome Perfect will display these chromatograms in uh, a tiled mode. And like any Windows programs, we can expand and move any of the windows within analysis. We can minimize here, maximize here, and of course close using the X button. To reset the plots at any time, we just go to Windows and Tile. Expanding the chromatograms when we have multiple chromatograms open is exactly the same as when we have a single chromatogram. We can zoom in using the mouse and then use the shortcut keys to change the expansion. Now you notice here, Chrome Perfect will automatically select a new chromatogram as I move through the, the list here. However, you'll notice that it's only changing the expansion of one of our chromatograms at a time. So let's take these back to the original level of expansion and show you a quick way of changing that. Let's go to the Compare menu and select Synchronized Expansion. And this time, when we draw our box around one chromatogram, the same scaling options will be applied to all. And of course, the shortcut keys work well here as well. Also, another very common requirement is the ability to overlay chromatograms, which we can do in the compare menu and switching to overlaid. 
I'm going to turn off synchronized expansion here and then click overlaid. Now, the first function I'd like to show you here is the ability to apply a stagger. And this is useful. You notice on the baseline here, all of these chromatograms are very closely overlaid. So we may want to, first of all, set up a stagger and offset either the X, the Y, or both axes. Let's do this. And this separates it individual files so we can quickly see which one is which. Now you notice here it is the middle oh, or the second chromatogram down which is being labeled because this is a, this is deemed the active chromatogram. By going into the plot properties we can quickly display the file and sample name, quick apply to all, and you see our chromatogram is labelled by an asterisk as being active. Going to the compare menu allows us to change the active chromatogram. Like so. Now, you may remember I turned off synchronized expansion, which means that when I zoom in here, it's only going to change the expansion for the active chromatogram. Of course, this is not really what we want. So let's backspace out of here and then go on, turn off the stagger and turn on synchronized expansion. Now, this is very useful because it allows us to expand all the chromatograms with the same scale. And of course, using the quick keys will take us back to the original level of expansion. Switching between tiled and overlaid mode is very simple and we'll keep the same expansion which was previously selected. So here we may not be able to easily see what's going on, so switching to the tiled mode may be a better way. Now let's look at a function which is very useful for more complex analysis. I'm going to close these files and open a more complex GC run. I'm going to select one of these EPA analysis here. Now you see here we have a, a run with a lot of small peaks on the baseline. Of course we can zoom in here and then use backspace or the O key to change our expansion. However there is a lot of additional key clicks and mouse clicks to achieve this function. A useful feature of Chrome Perfect is the ability to use the expansion map. The expansion map is a floatable window which can be resized and rescaled. Using the expansion map, there is a red window which indicates the current level of expansion. If we change on the chromatogram here, you'll notice the red box changes. Or alternatively, we can actually draw directly onto the expansion map, like so. Another very useful feature, especially when evaluating the baseline, is the ability to move the expansion map along our chromatogram to a specific area. This significantly reduces the number of keystrokes which are required when analysing these complex chromatograms. The expansion map works equally well when working with multiple files. So let's open both of these EPA analysis here. Ensure that we have synchronized expansion on, which we do, and then bring the expansion map up again. Now, because we have a synchronized expansion on, we can use the expansion map and it will apply the scaling to both of our chromatograms. And in the same way, we can change the scale either on the expansion map or indeed on the active chromatogram. And you'll notice that between these three windows, the scale is changing automatically. The expansion map works equally well in an overlaid mode with multiple chromatograms selected.
So there we have a very brief introduction to Chrome Perfect and the Analyze program. Thank you for watching.